In 2013, I had the honor of playing the role of Mary Delgado, Frankie Valli's wife in Jersey Boys on Broadway. One Sunday matinee, I'm on stage with the girls singing my boyfriend's back, and looking at me from 10 rows in the audience is the legend himself, Clint Eastwood. We got word that Hollywood was doing the film version of Jersey Boys and Clint Eastwood was going to be directing. Well, a few weeks later, they start calling in people from our cast to audition for the film. And they were looking for the role of Mary Delgado, the role I was playing. My agent and I tried and tried to get me an audition. And even though every girl I knew on Broadway was getting to read for the role of Mary Delgado, my agent called me and said, Renee, I'm so sorry, but they won't see you for the role of Mary, but they'll give you an audition for one of the smaller roles, one of the angels who sings My Boyfriend's Back. I'll never forget hanging up the phone that day and feeling my feelings. <laughs> I let them out, I let the tears flow, I let the screaming happen, and after about 30 minutes, I threw my hands up physically and spiritually and I said, you know what, Renee? You tried everything. You're still gonna go in and audition for one of the angels. I'm in the audition room that day and the casting director and I are in a great conversation and then he says to me, Renee, would you like to sing the song first or read the scene? And in that moment, I heard this quiet little voice within me say, you have to do this, it feels too right. And before I was even consciously aware, I looked at the casting director in the eyes and I said, you know, Jeff, I was really hoping to come in and read for the role of Mary Delgado. Oh, I didn't know what he was gonna say. And he looks back at me and he goes, I was just thinking the same thing. And I'm like, great, amazing. So I do the, scene, the scenes that day. I leave there feeling so happy and grateful because I gained the chance. I gained an opportunity and that's all I ever wanted. I go back to my eight shows a week on Broadway and a couple weeks later my agent calls me and she says, you're Mary Delgado in the movie, Clint Eastwood loves you. And I was like, ah! <laughs> it was one of the most surreal moments of my life. Cut to the first day on set, getting ready to film my first scene. With never being on a TV set or film set before, it felt like jumping off of a cliff. Do you know that feeling where it's like butterflies in your stomach and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm either just gonna do great or throw up. Well, once again, I heard that quiet voice come forward and say, Renee, you know what you're doing? Clint Eastwood hired you, trust in your talent and leap. And I walked through the doors of the location and everyone said, welcome Renee. And then up to my right side, who walks up to me but Clint Eastwood. And he says, you know, I went around to all the different casts, but nobody was in your class. And then you came in and put yourself on tape and it was the icing on the cake. <laughs> Again, surreal moment. I'm holding back the tears. I'm like, Renee, you didn't even film your first scene yet. Keep the makeup on. That first day and every day that followed, I would sit and eat lunch with Clint Eastwood and ask him every question I could. Clint, what was that camera shot like? Clint, what was it like when you started acting? Where are you from? What's this? What's that? Because I knew that I was in the presence of greatness and I did not want to let this fall to the wayside. About a month into filming the movie, I'm eating lunch once again. Eating's my favorite thing to do, even above helping with communication. I love eating. And it's myself, Clint Eastwood, and the producer of the film. And they're talking about how Clint knew he wanted me for the role when he saw me perform on Broadway. Well, I put down my fork, which <laughs> takes a lot. And I said, do you guys want to hear a funny story? I actually didn't get an appointment to audition for Mary Delgado. The only reason I got to read the scenes is because I opened up my big mouth in the room and asked. And they looked at me. And they looked at each other and they said, what, 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 do you, what do you mean? We requested you. We said, we want the girl who's in the Broadway show to come in and audition. 
Well, I came to find out that day that there was a middle person, casting associate, juggling a few films at once and dropped the ball on having me come into audition for Mary. If I did not have the ability to effectively and confidently speak up in the room that day, I could have missed my once in a lifetime opportunity. I could have been sitting in the movie theater watching Jersey Boys instead of on the screen in Jersey Boys and moving about my life with sadness and regret, never knowing that Clint Eastwood was waiting for me to walk through that door. So I ask you, have you ever let an opportunity in your life pass you by because of a fear of speaking up or miscommunication through a text or email? or just not knowing what to say or how to say it? I'm sure the answer is yes, because we all have, you're not alone. And I share this story with you to exemplify the power of communication and why it is so important to invest in learning how to consciously connect.